Welcome back. It is great to see our friend Rob Hardy from Care Animal Rescue. And today, oh my gosh, you have brought just a beautiful, look at that beautiful little baby. I mean, can we just look at that face? This is Yeti. She's such a sweetheart. Rob, tell us about Yeti. Yeti is a two-year-old um, shepherd Alaskan Malamute mix. Um, she's great with people. She's oh, obviously, like, she'll soak up all the love that you can give her. <laughs> um, but we are looking for a home that doesn't have another dog. Because they can oh. make her uncomfortable. Okay, so she wants to be kingpin in her own place. Or, or, queen. or dare I yep. say, top dog. <laughs> top dog. There you go. Top dog. She's You're top dog, a, Yeti. She's super Super sweet. Are you a good baby? She likes to be pet, petted she forever loves, oh, in a day. Yeah. Look, she just came. She she totally came and just laid down. Said, "Y'all, you can pet me all you want." <laughs> look at this. Look at this. She's precious. Like, pet my belly. Yeah, she's precious. I know, baby. What are you thinking? <laughs> are you so silly? Does she she's like so to play? Sweet. She does. She's she's pretty playful. Um, I had her in the backyard yesterday. <laughs> See, she wants to play with yep, the rope. She wants to play right now. Yeah. Are you playing, Yeti? Yes. You can't chew on so you've had her a little while. About six months, yeah, she's been looking for her family. Um, she did find one, but um, there was a foster to adopt situation. She got she got there and stayed there for about a week, but their cat wasn't very receptive. Aww. Um, so Can I just say, too, guys, back. I have two cats. Yeah. Cats are never receptive. you got to <laughs> give it some more time, okay? Yeah, dear, you just don't have the right cat. I'm just My sorry. Cat, <laughs> cats are never receptive to anything at first. That's why you got to give us some you time. you got to give us some time. Let, let it let. melt. I'm just saying. That's right, Yeti, huh? Yes, you gotta let it, gotta let it marinate a little bit and let them get to know each other. So, but if if you don't have any other dogs, what are you doing? Are you trying to get me? Are you trying to get so, me? So, Rob, I have a question. So, um, would would someone be able to foster her as well? Absolutely. Yeah, there, we can have a foster, um, and maybe that foster will turn into an adoption. Yeah. But yeah, typically um, we have dogs at the at the adoption center through the week, and then they might go back to the sanctuary. Yeah. Um, or we have them at the adoption center Thursday through Saturday, and then they might go back to the sanctuary uh, until we're open again. Right. Yeah. Um, and then so foster situations are always great when we can put dogs in foster, and then Absolutely. they can hopefully turn into adopters. And if not, then they can just come back to the adoption center since yeah. we have all the traffic there. Yeah. How can Let, people come see him? Yeah, I want, I want to tell the people how because I've actually lived through it now. I've yeah. experienced oh, yeah, it. You have. So I want to tell you about my experience. So last time Rob was on last month and brought two adorable babies that yes. I adopted last month. And here's, I want to show you an update, Rob. Here oh, they are. Oh, great. Thank you. On oh, my couch. Oh, yep. Just loving life. Buddy now I changed Winnie. Winnie's name to Whitney because of course, yep. Whitney Houston. Yep. That's Winnie Houston and then Buddy Holly. Yep. <laughs> I love I it. I love them so much. I can't imagine my house without them. They are the most loving new additions that got along great. By the way, I went to the, um, to care uh, on, I guess it was a Friday, got them, the staff was amazing, mm -hmm. talked to everybody. I went to go foster adopt, and once I was there, I was like, nope, just adopt. You, know, you gotta know you better. I know, I know you better than I know. that. Hello. They were so nice, people were coming in, donating supplies while I was there. Mm -hmm. They were, people coming in, do you have this dog, do you have that dog? And Rob was also saying, hey, come and get them so they don't have to go back to the sanctuary because they didn't want to travel right. as much. So. If you can go and just look at the babies they have there, it's it's it melted my heart. It yeah, I think me. you should just take a day and go look at the look at the pets. Look at the pets. You don't have to take yep. one home, but you might. You got, might end up doing that. Yeah, we've got cat suites that can sit in and so help socialize. We've got all the mm -hmm. dogs in that little playroom, and yeah, we've got something for everyone. And yeah, I just you mentioned the the people bringing in the donations. I just want to say thank you. to Oh yeah. Yes. Who, who does bring those in? Yeah. So As the, I was there for you know maybe an hour, and donations were coming in. We're talking to people. It was just such a fun atmosphere, and they're they're animal people. Which, if you're an animal person, you'll get along with all of them. Absolutely. And go give Yeti a home, please, guys. She's, please. She's precious, Rob. Thank you so much. Thanks for having oh, us. Oh, I love her baby. so much. We'll be back right after this. Oh my gosh, she's how does she not have a home yet? She needs a home. You need to get that little home baby. I know you're so sweet. Yes. You're so sweet. Yes.